down to the last log to split this here and uh, be done with all the uh, splitting of the log load. So I thought I'd just uh, go over the final cost of what it is because I get a lot of questions how much does it cost to heat with wood. So this year I bought the log load. It was $700 and about 20% of it got sawn up into lumber. So I'm going to say around $560 for the, uh, the log load. And then I used about $4 worth of uh, gas and oil mixture in the chainsaw to actually uh, bucket down to the lanes. And then the splitter, I wound up using 12 gallons of gas at about $3 a gallon. So that turned out to be $36 uh, just for that cost. And then I had, did show you that leak I had in the splitter, the oil leak. And over the couple of days, I wound up using two quarts of oil in it just to make up for the leak couple more dollars and then a couple bucks for diesel for moving the wood around after it's split um, this year is tough because it's too wet to move right now so um, I did go through did my second pair of gloves here so I did completely wear out two pair of gloves so far so that's another ten bucks I'm gonna throw in there and it comes in came out to cost me about I figured six hundred and twenty one dollars for this uh, amount of wood this year which it looks to be probably um, about 16 cords after taking out the uh, the lumber and there are several hundred hours of labor you know actually involved I'm gonna count that as exercise time though and not add anything in for it so if we bought fuel, we'd be using about 800 gallons of oil at $3 a gallon, which would be about $2,400. So, looks like we'll save about $1,800 this year. And that's, you know, saying that fuel oil remains around $3 a gallon, which it could go up some or it could go down some. You never know. So, you know, basically we have a, a guaranteed price on our heat for this coming winter. Now this year is actually going to turn into a little more work because of it, the weather and the ground is just too wet to be able to move it down in the back and stack it as I'm splitting it so it's all going to have to be loaded back in the trailer once it dries up a little bit and moved again to uh, stack. So you know it's all depending on the weather normally it would go a lot quicker than this but I'm just putting it all in one pile here. Now I did move about four face cords of this uh, down before the weather got too bad there. So you can see the size of the stack. It's um, it's really a sizable pile there, and that pile looks to me. I think it's probably close to you know 15 to 16 face cords. Plus I got about another um, four down below there. So. I'm thinking I got I did wind up with about 19 face cords out of this load plus um, a bunch of good nice lumber that I was able to saw up out of the better logs so it is quite a bit of work and my arms really hurt like hell right now from having to toss it up in a pile here and stuff but uh, you can see it's all done now and just ready to be stacked and uh, dry for next year now I did have a couple pieces of the cherry here and these are actually loaded with termites I found out. I split one of them up there and the termites were just going nuts so I'm going to move them to the other side of the yard and let them dry up and you know hopefully they'll termites will die once it dries up and go away. So I just thought I'd do a follow up showing you exactly you know what I did get out of that log load and um, I'm really happy that I did decide to go with the log load this year. It's, it's a lot of work to do it all at once, but in the end, it really does make the job a lot easier on me. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.